Okay, guys, welcome back to another ridiculously weird, unexpected video on Unorthodox Otaku Guy. You guys probably already know I like to hunt for weird things to look for for usefulnesses uh, where they shouldn't belong, like uh, for other figures. And uh, we're going to be checking out this one right here, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back, guys. We have this set called Little uh, Lil Woody's Woodsies, Little Woodsies. It's literally spelled Little Woodsies. All right, well, I'm guessing that I don't know if you're expecting me to pronounce it like that, but uh, this is Hoppin' Farmers Market. This is meant for stuff like those little like woodland critters type stuff, and these are surprisingly ridiculously cheap and loaded with stuff. Uh, you, this one I found at Target. It was on sale for $20, and it is normally about $22. Now, why that's actually ridiculous, and we're going to get it down to why I finally just jumped on to get this, is sheer how much is included with this for what it is. And we might be able to repurpose some of it um, and rebuild this a little different too. But overall, this is a farmer's market. As you can see here, it's got it's like front and en front entrance way. It's even like slightly decorated and you know has stuff hanging here. Um, there's this is just a cover this flooring underneath that I believe, and then you can see it, it is a full market with a bunch of stuff already preset in place. It's held in the place. That's the back side of it, and you see like this is actually a decent sized little market here. So just the little environment here alone, uh, thinking about it for twenty dollars, that's pretty crazy. Um, and this could be a lot of fun to do a repaint on this to make it look a little uh, more realistic, a lot better. So let's get into start tearing this apart of taking off some of the packaging and whatnot because we want to see just what is included here. Now we have some zip ties put in here holding some stuff on. So they zip tied this little welcome sign in there. We'll have to see where that uh, actually goes. But they put tape everywhere and covered it in a, like a sealed plastic so that no matter what's in here is actually being held in So this might take a little bit to actually unbox. It went to crazy amount of lengths to uh, cover everything, make sure everything doesn't fly out because the way they designed the package is so it can be displayed as it's set in tension, but also hold all its pieces together. So it's pretty, uh, pretty elaborate. So first things first, we just took off this one side piece here and we'll take out what's included in here. It looks like a bunch of greens. Oh boy, the packaging on here is nuts. All right, so the biggest thing I needed for my collection of like figures like Nendroids and uh, Figma is I don't have enough foods. And so this set, being a farmer's market, there's actually quite a bit included in here. So right off the bat, we already have uh, three muffins. We have this basket with the moving handle even, which is really nice. We have this type of baked bread with uh, sl like slots on the top. Two like uh, Italian style or French bread loaves. And then we have this big uh, raised loaf bread here. Out of like a loaf pan. All right, so we got some wood grain. Yes, what grains? <laughs> um, we have some grains in general, some breads and stuff. So we have lots of tape put everywhere. This is like the worst part. 
just getting all this tape off. Cause like they use like a crazy strong tape and then they zip tied it on top of that. So try to take it here at all at once. Man. All right. So let's like attack the zip ties. So they take the most effort. just attack all the zip ties if we can. I might have to go get a pair of snips. Oh, man. Man, they got even a zip tie in a cell there. Fuck. So yeah, making dioramas is fun and all, but if you can find something that works really well and it's really cheap, uh, it's really favorable to just pick it up. Because, you know, we already got another watering can. We got a potted plant with flowers in it, another potted plant with flowers in it. One there, sunflower, and a little one there. So we got four potted plants there that are separate that we can use for anything. Okay. The whole big back section is really put together. So I might well take it out as one piece. That's looking promising. There we go. One big piece coming out. And we got that one there. So since that's that, all these little pieces there. Let's go and try to take off the flooring. So we will go and cut it into sections. So it should make it easier to come out. coming out okay so now the market is looking pretty barren and that's actually not too bad especially if we give this like a little bit of a dry brush painting uh this actually will be coming pretty decent looking because it's overall pretty plain in terms of like its wood look especially with the floor and if we give it some details this actually would be not so bad so that this could actually work as a uh Pretty decent little diorama. All right, so let's put this one, since this is like the main piece, let's put that in the back for now. And we're gonna look at all the stuff that it comes with. Cause that's really like the biggest winner of all this is the fact that how much stuff this thing comes with is insane. Like you, it, it doesn't make sense for how cheap it is for what it comes with. I'll tell you right now, the unpackaging process on this is a nightmare because they focused on a strong display appearance and it helps sell the product, I guess. Okay, so we have a little sign. Uh, it's fresh apples, 50 cents on one side, and we also have baked daily bread sign. And that's a simple little sign. If you have a uh, printed sticker, or if you want to just print a piece of paper and glue it on there, you could change the sign to anything you want. So that's a really simple process, and uh, you can have a lot of fun with that. So this is extremely favorable that this came with this. We have 
Oh, that is a two in one. Okay, this is cool. All right, so let's move some of this to the side because we're getting a little cluttered here. We have a shopping cart, which definitely looks Nendroid sized. So what I mean about Nendroid, if you don't know Nendroids, they're roughly about that scale and it is definitely looking to be their scale. But I will say, if you take this off this, all right, this actually comes off and this shopping basket has a handle. This is definitely very Figma scale shopping uh, like basket, like the handled ones. So this is like a two in one scaling. So if you fold the handle down and you put it on the, the cart pusher, this suddenly becomes a different scale and works for Nendroids too. So this is mul very multi-purpose. I'm gonna have the handle forward. This is very multi-purpose type item. So we got some bananas in here. It's a banana bunch. We've got a bundle of grapes. We have a carrot. And that was in this cart here. And the cart wheels actually do sort of move. Not the greatest, but they do. So it's not just solid. And they are still so much more to look at. Okay, so let's get that out. And let's get that out. And I believe that you cover all the, the big four pieces that were there. So we have yet another potted plant. So there's a lot of potted plants in here. There'll be good, simple decorations for photo shoots. And we have this uh, type of wheelbarrow design, which actually rolls. And again, it's also a very Nendroid scale. This is definitely not Figma scale, so don't expect six, fig six inches to work. Uh, expect more like 3.5 to 4.5 range to work. That will be much better. Uh, all the accessories though are very universal. You can use these accessories uh, with also uh, Figma as well, which kind of me is the biggest point of getting this whole thing. But we got this little uh, shovel here. We have a mini rake and a little pair of scissors. Now let's get into more of the foods. So move that stuff. We have a whole bunch of stuff to go through. Look at all. Look at all of this. This is perfect. So let's open up this little barrel pack. I wonder if the items come out of the barrels. I hope so. It looks like they could. Yes, they do. Oh, this set is amazing. Okay, so we have some stickers falling off their signs. No problem, put that right back in its place. Man, 50 cents, these guys must have, uh, this must be before the, uh, the big inflation. All right, but we got a uh, economic crash. <laughs> we got a little barrel here. It's got a little sign that says 50 cents on it. And we have two tomatoes that are loose tomatoes. They're not set in there. You can arrange this any way you want. So we got that. We have another little barrel here. These little barrels are actually really, really nice. Very well sculpted. They're nice and 3D, they're not just flat. It looks like we got oranges in this one, another little sign, and this little sign is 69 cents on here. <laughs> and we have only one more sign. Uh, I guess they gypped us one sign, which kind of sucks, but oh well. The stickers do not like to stay on. I gotta really finagle them and convince them to stay on there. But we got one for $2.50, and this one has two pairs in it. And then we have, these are adorable. This is perfect, I needed these. Uh, we got some peppers in here, a green pepper and a red pepper. So I definitely needed those. Very nice little addition there. This thing covers a wide variety, uh, which is the biggest reason why I wanted this set. Because if I was to buy all these se uh, individual separately or like go to Michael's or something, um, these would cost, this actually would cost a lot of money. Um, I bought a couple miniatures from Michael's uh, the other day and it cost me like 35 bucks for like f a couple miniatures. Uh, while this whole set was 20 bucks. 
So that give you an, an idea of how much worth this is. So we got a little watermelon here. I wouldn't call it little, it's actually quite big, uh, but it's appropriate scale. Watermelons are big. Uh, we got corn. It's still sort of in its uh, wrap. So you still got to shuck the corn. It comes in this little uh, wood carrying tray, which I will say actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, we have a little pumpkin. I have a bunch of little pumpkins, but it doesn't hurt to get more, especially I love my Halloween shoots. I'm obsessed with them. So one more pumpkin is great. And it looks like a cauliflower or cabbage. Quite gross plant. Okay, so that's that. We have some more stuff here. <laughs> we have plenty more stuff here, which is great. So let's go in here and let's open this up and see what's in this pack. So much packaging. Okay, so we have, oh, this is awesome. All right, we have a little tray here with ice at the bottom of it. And we have, because they're on ice, we have uh, what looks like a type of like shrimp. Shrimp's on ice and it's a little cooler tray. Uh, we've got some fish here. I don't know why they're yellow. Actually, you might paint these, make them a little more realistic. Uh, but we got uh, two yellow fish on the same thing. It's on ice. That's the first thing here. I'd probably say in accessories wise, I'll definitely paint because they look uh, too unrealistic. But decent detail though, so it's going to be um, nicer to paint. Now we have, this is going to be a mess because they're all being held in like uh, compressed plastic. So once I separate the seam, it's going to be like, eh. Current of eggs already fell out. Right, so we're gonna try to dump this out to contain it in one spot. Oh man, there's so much ink here. This is nuts. Okay, let's try to see if we can collect all this all together. Alright, so we have these little buckets here. They're like little metal pails. And this is actually really useful. Um, they have some clams in there. Okay, little bundles of clams. Painted two-tone. So it's not just one solid color. Pretty cool. We have two cartons of eggs. And I would call them uh, four packs. Very tiny. Look pretty decent. Will work. One plain color. It's a little, little boring. We have a uh, large cheese wheel, minor details to it, nothing crazy. And we have another metal bucket and uh, I guess, I think it's supposed to be filled with fish. So we got a bucket full of fish here, another metal pail. We have another metal pail here and we have some more fish. Got two blue fish. All the fish are pretty fake looking. Now we have generic orange jars with green lids. We have one and two. They have a raised label on them with nothing on it. So you can kind of do anything you want with it if you want. Uh, we have gen uh, generic honey jars. We have two of those. They have like a little, little beehive imprint on it. So it's giving away that it's honey. I'm gonna make some room. There's so much here. It is, it's nuts how much is here. Uh, I would say this looks kind of like a mayonnaise jar or something of the sort. Not labeled, very simple, has a little bow tie on it. There is another one. It's taller, matching lid color. We have the same one, but with a different lid color. It's like a purple, as well as a matching tall one that is purple for that. Uh, I was really excited about this because it. I needed some pies. This is a pretty decent looking little pie in a dish. So we got a pie. We have an okay looking bottle of milk. Not the greatest, but not the worst. Um, a very generic looking drink. Kind of make it look into anything. It has no label on it. I'm probably going to print a label for this with my uh, decal maker. And this will be perfect because I can make it whenever I want. Probably make that into a soda or a liquor. 
Same with this purple one here. I'll probably, I could probably make these into something exciting. No labels on them. A lot of stuff is pretty plain. We've got uh, a red jar, no label on it. It's very simple. A purple jar, no label on it. Uh, we've got a loose fish. Try to put that in another pail. Now it looks like we have, let's see, cans with, this looks like pea pods. So it's canned goods. Low, low detail and info. Uh, we got tuna cans, has little fish emblems on it. I might actually have to throw this into a manual focus mode because, uh, there you go. See that? Little tuna. We've got a scale. Uh, this scale does not function. I actually have one that has a spring in it, which is crazy. Uh, but this one is definitely for a generic look. Uh, we have a bucket of blueberries. I don't think they come out. No, these are permanently put into there. So that bucket of blueberries is indeed that. We have some greens in there. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but we got some greens. Uh, bucket of looks like raspberries or strawberries. Probably say raspberries, a little more bumpy. We have another bottle of milk. We've got two apples. A stem they did not color right. I can just do that little touch up on paint and that'll be perfect. Uh, we have a, a jar of peas that's actually green. Unlike this one, they didn't color this one. I don't know why one is colored, one is not. And lastly, our last item is wrapped. Take that out. It's another ice tray here. And we have two more fish, which are pinkish. All these fish need to be painted. But we have, that's definitely uh, three ice trays we've got for that. The ice trays look okay. Okay, so overall, let's go back to autofocus. All right. And we have a plethora of items here. This whole mountain of items plus the actual set itself for the market, all for $20. And it's literally begging perfect scale for Nendroids. As you can see there, I just put Sombra in the little farmer's market there. And you'll even see, I have this little arcade I just opened up earlier. It is that type of scale for the set. This set is literally begging for an Android usage. So if you want yourself some really cheap uh, sets with tons of items, you can use these items uh, definitely for 112 scale stuff as well. If you have like uh, Figma, Figure Arts, Rebel Techs, etc., uh, Hasbros, uh, these will be wonderful items to use as well for 112 scale. But the set itself is perfect for Nendroids. So everything here uh, is pretty universal back and forth between Figmas and Nendroids primarily. Uh, so going back and forth between the 3.5 inch, 4.5 inch uh, small scales to the six, uh, six inch range for the year 112 scales. Um, I actually don't know the scale of Nendroid technically. I just know they're about 3.5 to 4.5 inch. Um, but anyways, this is a wonderful little set. I can highly recommend it. I'm actually really, really outstanding by how much is included for the price. Again, that's the Little Woodsies collection. Uh, you'll find these at Target. You can, you can actually find these online. They cost a lot more online. So if you have a Target that's local, I highly recommend picking them up locally because you'll save yourself a lot of money. I don't know why they jack up the price on these online. It doesn't make sense, but this I paid $20 for uh, right here in 2019, beginning of the year. And it, you know, that's not bad at all, especially cause it's normally, it's only about $22, $23 normally. So it wasn't like a major sale, but it was just enough to make it like, you know, a nice solid $20, which was awesome because there is so much here for $20. I have spent so much more on miniatures uh, than how much is included right here. Yes. Some of these are very plain and basic, but some of these actually look absolutely wonderful. And like even have details like, you know, this orange here has nice bumps on it and it has even the 
uh, the, the greens on top actually painted green. You know, while this apple here is just all red. So it's give or take. Some stuff is great, some stuff is not. Uh, if you are into, you know, touching up painting, you know, I will paint these fish. They're probably gonna be pretty awesome because the paint, on, or yeah, the, not the paint. The sculpt on the fish is pretty, you know, entertaining and simple. Uh, so it'll work great for that. They painted everything on the set. Uh, just need some dry brushing on the wood and whatnot to make it look good. And this will be actually pretty wonderful. So highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next time you guys see me, remember to stay in Orthodox.